In this video, I will be providing you with a method that you can use to build level walls on a sloping concrete surface, something you might have in your backyard or something that you might be planning on building a home addition on. And those walls might look something like this after you're done. You're going to have a wall in the front that's going to be a little taller than a wall in the back. And then the walls on the sides might be a little bit different or might be exactly the same. And the first thing we're going to need to do will be to establish a wall height with a maximum height. And to do that, you're probably going to start with your standard wall framing stud in your area. Where I'm at, that is going to be 92 and a quarter inches. Then we're going to grab a long board or a couple of boards and firmly position them into place so that we can grab a level and start from the high point to create a level line that is going to go all the way to the front. And then we're just simply going to measure this distance here to get the difference between the front and the back wall framing studs or the front and the back total overall height of the walls. So not too difficult. We're just simply going to grab a level and then start making a few marks along the way working our way towards the other side. And you can always use a water level here. You don't have to use a regular level like we're using here. Just as long as you establish a height difference between the front and the back wall framing. And I'm not going to bother telling you what this measurement is because yours is going to be different than mine. But if you need to hear something, let's just pretend like this is five inches. And if it is, then I'm going to deduct five inches off of the height of the wall framing studs I'm going to use on this wall here to build the wall in the back. And you can always reposition the board to establish a level line across the front and a level line across the back. And I'm not going to go into all the details in this video if you want me to make another video let me know in the video comment area because sometimes these sections aren't going to be level and you might need to start with a high point and a low point to create upper level wall framing plates. So after you have framed your walls you can go ahead and attach them to the concrete slab with some type of framing anchors like these pins here or you can use the framing anchors like we have here that will require a concrete hammer drill. And if I had my choice, I would use these because they're probably going to have a little more holding power than the pins over here. And of course, you will need to brace the wall framing and you might need to brace the wall framing before you install the pins or have somebody holding the walls while you attach the pins or other framing anchors while you're connecting the base framing plates to the building foundation or concrete slab. Next up, we're going to position a nail or a screw in between the framing stud and the bottom of the top plate. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Then we're going to attach a string, a tight string. I do have another video on that. I will put a link to it in the comment area. And the tight nylon string is going to make all the difference in the world on this project. And if you're really looking for a straight wall, I would make sure that you put a string on the other end. Don't just cut these studs at the same height because this part of the building foundation could be sagging or it could have a hump in it. Or it could be distorted in more ways than you could possibly imagine. So make sure that you measure each one of the framing studs on both sides so that you can create a nice straight wall here. And if it was me, I would probably install this framing stud and then this framing stud and then maybe one in the middle or even put a few in between there and then install my lower top framing plate. That way you can go ahead and lay out the positions of the wall framing studs and that'll make it a little easier to measure the length of each one of them. And then after that, you can go ahead and fill in the rest of the wall framing studs and then you are done and then hopefully you'll have a nice level line and hopefully this makes sense however if it does not or you need a little more information on a variety of different things that might not have anything to do with this video yet fall into the categories of house framing or repairs feel free to leave those comments 
or questions in the comment area.